Can the San Antonio Spurs win an NBA championship within the next five seasons? Let's get into this. Dosage. Oh yeah, I work with the medics. I'm about to get you injected. I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetic. Okay. Quickly before we get the video started, if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more NBA content just like this one, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell. Anyways, back to the video. Typically, when you ask an NBA fan about the San Antonio Spurs, the first thing that they're probably going to say is just a fantastic organization. They've been good for so long, not only making the playoffs, but making deep runs in the playoffs, winning championships. The Spurs have just been so good. And there's a few key reasons to why the Spurs have been so good for so long. Of course, a main component is drafting, but how you actually draft effectively is determined by having the right people in the right positions in your front office. And they've had some great guys within their organization for the past 20 or 30 years, so keeping that consistency going forward and the people that they've been keeping obviously know what they're doing and are fantastic at their job so that's obviously going to help you going forward so of course the main thing they've been able to do well is drafting the players that the spurs have been drafting over the years has just been incredible late draft picks early draft picks second round picks it doesn't matter they're always going to find the best player available it seems like and when you do a great job of drafting like the spurs have been doing obviously you're going to be a very good team for a very long time the second thing that they were able to do very effectively is how are the right head coach. I think we all know that Greg Popovich is a fantastic coach and was a fantastic coach for a very long time at this point and he's definitely one of the goats in terms of coaching. But not only is Greg Popovich a fantastic coach on the court, when it comes to off the court he's also a fantastic guy in terms of player development. When they're bringing in these players from the draft you can have a fantastic player in terms of their talent level but if your organization doesn't necessarily have great talent progression within your organization that player might not live up to the expectations that he could eventually live up to but it seems like the spurs time in and time again whenever they're drafting a player they're getting the most possible out of that player and all those things combined is the main reason why the spurs have been so good for so long and made the playoffs for 20 straight seasons which is absolutely unheard of but after great success for so long for the San Antonio Spurs organization, it finally seems like the Spurs are going in the direction of a true rebuild, where they're still going to be competitive, but at the same time, they're not going to be a team that's going to make the playoffs for a few more seasons, and really try to build through the draft and just build the right way, and eventually get back into the track that they were previous. But when you look at some of the players that the Spurs have on their roster currently, they definitely have some nice talent going forward, and definitely want to build upon what they have currently. When you look at some of the guys they have on the roster, looking at a guy like Jante Murray, I think he's going to be a really good player going forward. What he can do on the offensive side is pretty good, really good at getting all the way to the basket, has a pretty good mid-range jump shot and a decent three-point jump shot, which is something he has been working on ever since he's gotten into the NBA, just his jump shooting in general, and we've definitely seen some crazy improvements. And overall, I just like his game offensively, but where Dejounte really shines is on the defensive side. He's a fantastic defender, he has a crazy wingspan, super athletic, super mobile, to basically guard positions one through five and overall I'm just very excited to see what DeJounte could do going forward. I can easily see him honestly becoming an all-star type player. A superstar type player I think it's a little bit of a far fetch at the very least at this point maybe he could do it going forward but currently at this point I see him as a guy who could potentially be a very very good starter and even currently he's a pretty good starter and maybe even an all-star type player. DeJounte Murray is definitely a really good player that you want to have on your team and is a really good player to be in the foundation of your young core that you're trying to build in San Antonio. But looking at some other other players they have on their roster they're very early in the rebuild process so they don't necessarily have some crazy young talent already on the team but another guy like Keldon Johnson I think he's a pretty good player as well he's just a really good shooter in general of course he can catch and shoot from that mid-range area three-point area he's just a very good floor spacer currently at this point in his career but he's still very young within his career as well and you could definitely see him improve some aspects of his game and maybe going forward he can add some different aspects to his game in terms of being a more complete offensive player overall which honestly I definitely think he has the ability to do so so we'll see what happens with Keldon Johnson going forward but currently at this point just being a catch and shoot three-point jump shooter I think is a really valuable player on any team they have some other decent players on their team like Joshua Primo who they just drafted in this year's draft of course also they have Zach Collins a pretty good center in the league Jakob Pertl is pretty good 
They have some decent players on their team, but the thing is they don't currently have a superstar on their team and a player that they can truly build around. That's something they're still searching for. So the Spurs are clearly in a full rebuild mode at the moment. So the next step that the Spurs really need to do is identify the right player in the draft. Hopefully for their sake, they'll be drafting a little bit higher in the draft now going forward than they were in the past. Maybe crack into the top 10, maybe even top 8 they can do. And if they do so, hopefully for their sake, they have to identify the right player. And if they do find the right player higher up in that draft, that can be a true player that you could really build around. And some of the other nice young pieces they have currently on their team would definitely complement a guy that maybe could potentially be a superstar for them going forward. So that's definitely the next step. But besides just banking on getting a super high draft pick and drafting the right player and drafting a franchise player, another thing that the Spurs should probably be doing is all the older players they currently have on their team, maybe they should look to trade them during the trade deadline and try to get some second round picks or maybe even a late first round pick if they have good enough players on their roster in order to just bring in as many draft picks as possible. Whenever you see any team that's rebuilding, the most important thing for them is obviously draft picks and they want to bring in as many draft picks as they possibly can. Because even if you have the number one overall selection, there's always times where teams do draft a bust and if you draft a bust then that puts your organization back so many years. So getting as many draft picks as you possibly can would always help your odds and is very important for a rebuilding team going forward. So the Spurs should certainly look to go in that direction as well and I think they probably will. But now let's get into the question of the video which is can the San Antonio Spurs win an NBA championship within the next five seasons? So as I mentioned before in the video it's pretty clear that the Spurs are currently in a rebuild and they're looking to build through the draft obviously. So with that being said I don't think the Spurs could even think about making the playoffs probably within the next one or two seasons and maybe after that they can start becoming a better team and making the playoffs and then going from there. But looking at where the Spurs are at currently I think it's pretty hard to say that they're going to win an NBA championship within the next five seasons. Of course they're just starting a rebuild, they haven't even found that franchise player yet. I'm pretty confident in what the Spurs can do in terms of their drafting abilities and I think they've proven that over the years and I'm pretty confident that they will probably find that star player for them going forward but as of right now they currently have not found that out yet and based on Greg Popovich still coaching this team and this team not being a terrible team overall, it's very hard for me to believe that the Spurs are going to get a top five pick in a draft. I just think Popovich is always going to coach to win and this team is just not bad enough to become a team that would get a top five overall selection. Unless of course they get extremely lucky, I don't think they're going to get a pick like that. So the Spurs are really going to have to fall back on what they do best and that's drafting. But if the Spurs get maybe a top eight pick, top 10 pick, I'm pretty confident that eventually they could find a player that's going to be a star player for them going forward. So to answer the question of the video quickly, do I think they're going to win a championship within the next five seasons? I personally don't think so. I just think they're very early in the rebuilding process. But with that being said, of course anything could happen. But we'll see what happens going forward for the Spurs. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think the Spurs can win an NBA championship within the next five seasons or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that post notification bell. It really helps me out a lot. Until the next time, peace out guys. Oh yeah, I work with the medics. I'm about to get you injected. I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetics. Hope you can't go where I'm headed.